Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are here in new place, but I wanted to film this video because we are going to talk about phrasal verbs. And phrasal verbs are very interesting. And I love phrasal verbs. You should love them too because they are very useful, very, very common. And we use them all the time, every day, in usual conversations in English. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is to run out of something. If you are running out of something, it means that you've used all of it and you need to buy some more or you need to get some more. We usually talk about a product. So you've used all of it or almost all of it and you need to get some new ones. You can use it in the past. I ran out of which means that the product is finished, completely finished. For example, I ran out of milk, can you get some more? Or you can use it with the present continuous, so it's not really finished, but almost. For example, I'm running out of chocolate, can you get some more? Next one which is quite common, and maybe you know it, it's to work out. To work out means that you're doing exercise, you're doing sports, and we can say work out. You can use it as a noun as well, a workout. But here we, we want to use the verb to work out. For example, I usually work out two, three or four times a week. It depends on my work, but I usually work out this amount of time. The number three is cut down on. And be careful here, cut down on, you have two prepositions, down, on. And if you cut down on something, it means that you're reducing your intake of it usually for your health. So it means that you eat less or you drink less of that thing, you cut down on it because you want to be healthier. That's usually the case. For example, I'm trying to cut down on sugar, at least before summer, because it's bad for my health and for my body. Next one is one that I use basically every day and it's to pick up. Pick up someone or something. Um, and it means that you go to a place, usually with your car, and you collect that thing or that person. For example, remember today, it's your turn to pick up the kids. I don't have any kids, but it's a usual example, very common example. Or, could you please pick up the eggs at Lucy's place because we need to make an omelette. Next one is to show off. And to show off means that you act and you behave in a way that you want to attract attention. You want everyone to look at you. You want people to notice you, okay? And usually it's a very annoying thing. So we say to show off. For example, she bought that car only to show off and prove that she could afford it. Comment and tell me if you know people who always show off. To get along with. To get along with means that you have a good relationship with someone. You have a good friendship or a good bond with someone. For example, I don't really get along with her because she's always showing off. Okay, you can use it with a positive, I get along with her, or negative, I don't get along with her. Next is very, very useful, to come over. So here the preposition is over. And to come over means to come to your house or my house. <laughs> for example, do you want to come over for some tea or beer later? Do you want to come over? Okay, do you want to come to my place, to drive to my place um, for tea or beer? Depends on the hour. Cut off. One that I've been using almost every day for the last year and a half. <laughs> So if the line is cutting off, you're speaking to someone and if the line is cutting off, it means that it's stopping and it means that you cannot have uh, the conversation with the other person anymore. You can use it with the phone or with Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, you know, any visual, any connections with someone. For example, I can't really hear you, you keep cutting off. Run into, very good to know. To run into someone means that you met someone by accident, more or less, you know. When you're walking down the street and you see a person, it wasn't planned, but you see a person you know, you can say, I ran into Sophie. I saw Sophie next to the supermarket, or I don't know, and you ran into her, you know, by accident. 
and it happens quite a lot, right? So you can say, oh, I ran into Sophie yesterday. Can you believe she's expecting another baby? And the last one for you guys is to catch up. And to catch up is very, very useful. We want to use it when you want to have the latest news, the latest gossips. And you, you want to chat and to discuss, okay? For example, do you want to come over and catch up because we have so many things to talk about? And don't forget to subscribe. I would be very happy to see you again. And if you want, comment with your favorite phrasal verb or if you think they are very, very difficult because I will do my best to help you out. Okay, guys, that's it for that video. I hope the sound and everything is okay. Um, let me know what you think about these phrasal verbs. Do you find it difficult or not? I would be happy to read you and see you next time for a video in French about some tips. All right, bye guys.